Good morning friends. How are you all? I'm Shweta and welcome to the maths class of the standard 3. This is the third video of chapter number 2 that is addition and probably this is the last video of this chapter also. In this chap in this video I'm covering only one topic that is adding four digit number with carryover. Okay? In this video we will learn to add four digit number with carry over okay so let us start with an example here i have taken two different number of four digit the first number is 3425 okay in this three is thousand four is hundred two is tens and five is ones now the second digit is three thousand six hundred and ninety Okay, in this digit, in this number, 3 is 1000, 6 is 100, 9 is tens, and 6 is ones. Okay, so in this we will learn how to add the numbers with carryover. Now we will start adding this. Okay, so first First step is we have to add the numbers that are placed at 1's position. This is 1's position. So we have to add the number that are placed at 1's position. So 6 plus 5 is equal to count. 6 plus 5 is equal to very good. Is equal to 11. Okay. But here we can write only one digit. And the 11 is of 2 digit. 11 number is of 2 digit and in a place we can write only 1 digit. So here as this is a place of 1's so in this 11 number which digit is placed at 1's? This one is placed at 1's and this one is placed at 10's. So in the 1's position we will write this digit. Okay. So here I am writing 1. And this one will be carry over to carry forward to tens place. Because this one belongs to tens place. So this one will be carry forward to tens place. Okay. Now we have to add these three numbers. Okay. So 9 plus 2, 11. 11 plus 1, 12. Now 12 is Again, a number of two digit, and as we have known, we already know that here means in a single place we can write only one digit. So in this, which number we will write? One or two? Here in this place, in tens place, which number we will write? This one or two? If I will tell that this 2 I have to write. Then you can ask that this is the place of 1's. And this is the place of 10's. So we should write 1 here. No. Because this 12 is not 12 1's. This is not 12 number. This 12 means 12 10's. 1 10's is equal to 10's. 2 10's is equal to 20. 3 times is equal to 30. Similarly like that, 12 times is equal to 120. Okay? And if we will find out that in 120, which number is placed at 10th position, then we can find out that this 2 number is placed at 10th position. So, we have to write this 2 number here at the 10th position. And as you can see, this one is placed at 100th position. Okay. So, this one will be carry forward to 100th place. Understood this? Now, in this, we again we have to add these three numbers. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 1, 11. Again here, 11 number is written and 11 number is of 2 digit and we have to write here only 1 digit. Okay? 
Now in this 11, which, which one we have to write here? Which one? This one or this one? Because 11 hundreds means 11 hundreds. Okay. So at the place of 100, we have to write this one. Because this is a place of ones, tens and hundreds. So we have to write this one here and this one will be carry forward to thousand place. Okay. Now again we have to add these three numbers. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 3, 7. So here I have written 7. So this is how we have to add the 4 digit number with carry over. You can pause this video and write this example. Now we will take an another example of 3 different numbers of 4 digit. Okay. So here I have written 3 different numbers of 4 digit. The first number is 3639. Second number is 2882. And the third number is 1793. Okay. So as we have already know that first we have to add the ones position. After that tens, hundred times. At, at last we have to add thousand position. Okay. So should we start? The first one is 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. 11 plus 3 is equal to 14. This is 14 ones. In this 14 number as we have already know that here we have to write only one digit. So in this 40, 14 number which number is placed at one's position? Because this is a place of one's position. So in this 14 we can see that 4 is placed at one's position. Okay. And this one is placed at tens position. Ones, tens. So in this column this is a place of ones. We have to write this 4. Okay. And as this one is placed at tens position, so we have to carry forward this one to tens place. Okay. Now we have to add the numbers which are placed at tens position. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 8, 12. 12 plus 9, 21. 20. 1. But this is 21 tens. And 21 tens is equal to 200 tens. Okay. So in this place we have to write which number? 1 or 2. This one is not placed at 1's position. And this 2 is not placed at 10's position. This one is placed at tens position and this 2 is placed at hundreds position as you can see here. Okay. 21 tens is equal to 210. Here 1 is placed at tens position and 2 is placed at hundreds position. Okay. So in the tens position we have to write this one. And as this 2 number is placed at hundreds, hundreds position so we have to carry forward this 2 to 100's position. Okay? Clear? Now we have to add the numbers which are placed at 100's position. 2 plus 6, 8. 8 plus 8, 16. 16 plus 7, 23. 23. Okay? And this 23 is a number? No. Tens? No. This 23 is hundreds. 23 hundreds. Okay? So, in the place of hundreds, we have to write 
this three because it is placed at hundredth position. So we have to write this three here, and after that we have to carry forward this two to thousand place. As you can see, ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. So this is placed at thousand position. So we have to carry forward this two to thousand position. Okay. Now we have to add these numbers. Two plus three, five. Five plus two, seven. Seven plus one, eight. Okay. Now I hope that you have understood this carry forward concept very well. By this way, this chapter is completed. You can pause this video and write these examples in your copy. And after that, you can check your assignment for the homeworks.